El siguiente programa muestra fallas de origen debido a la sobresaturación de las líneas de comunicación en el mundo causada por la pandemia mundial del COVID-19. Gracias por su comprensión. Bienvenidos a Friends at Home, segunda temporada. El programa fresco, único e irreverente de Rally Inside Plus. Hoy contamos con la presencia de Matt Sosberg, piloto de Rally Noruego. Actualmente participa con Citroën Racing dentro del WRC en la categoría WRC2. Debutó en la máxima categoría en 2006 con el equipo Adapta. Ha sido piloto oficial en Ford y Citroën. Matt Sosberg, aquí en Rally Inside Plus Internacional. My last time with you was with my sister who doesn't want, doesn't like rally. And okay. It, we were together in in Chile, in Rally Chile because she yeah. lives there and then she came to me and hey I have a picture with a with a driver yes and it was you no so <laughs> <laughs> okay no so, and now our hollywood star a driver <laughs> uh, our favorite father when i met all of the drivers in WRC they were single no Matt Sosberg was not single but He was not a father, no? Yeah, and now exactly. all of them are so old people and all of them has <laughs> sons and daughters and whatever. Yeah, that's Matt right. Matt Sosberg, how are you? Thank you so much for staying here with us today. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Uh, everything is, is, is really well. Uh, obviously a strange situation, but uh, I enjoy the time that I have now and uh, I have a good uh, and enjoyable time with my family. I have many interviews with you. But I remember exactly one that I have with you, and it was so different because you were so you were not the driver in this interview. You know the driver. How do you feel? Yes, it's very slippery. My feelings, no, <laughs> whatever. All the same answers, all the same questions. In that time, I we were talking about your 100 uh, careers. I think your wife was pregnant, something like that. I think in that yeah, time. Yeah, no? yeah, no? probably, yeah. And uh, and you were so different of that. So uh, and you were talking me about so your experience. I remember when I asked your best experience and your worst. And you were so natural with you with very very hot. The weather was very hot, and you have a, to a wet towel in your head. And I put you the fashion driver, no? And yeah. then people in Mexico names you the fashion driver <laughs> from that. Well, note. that's <laughs> from the so, towel. Um, tell us what is your your best experience, but funny experience. Well, I think yeah, that's uh, that's obviously uh, a difficult question, but I think I still have some years to go in my career. But uh, already uh, now, I have a a long career behind me with a lot of things that I'm really proud about, uh, uh, including some of my experience from Mexico. I have a couple of podiums from Mexico and and that's, uh, that's some really proud memories uh, that I have. But I think in general, we are just really lucky to, to do what we do. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm able to travel around the world Uh, doing what I absolutely love to do. I, I wouldn't change my job for anything. I, I absolutely love it. And uh, I've done that for, for my whole career. I just enjoy what I do. And uh, probably the older I get, the more I appreciate it. So it, it's, I think that's quite normal for a, for a person to, in the beginning, you just, you don't think about it. You just enjoy it and do what you do. and you probably also take it a bit for granted but uh, once you get older and you have a few more years you start to appreciate it a lot more and and you get much prouder as well which uh, which is always a good feeling so i think it's it's the whole experience from start and when i'm a grandpa i will be at the end so it means I, from start to the end uh, I, I will be able to to explain, I think, especially how how my feelings developed for for rallying and uh, through my career. I think that's that's special, and uh, it's something that you don't understand when you start, but it's something you understand when you are finished. I'm very successful because you are now in the point that you can do whatever you want. If you want to do a world rally car, you can drive a world rally car. If you don't want, you don't want. If you want to go uh, a rally just for fun, you can do it. So you are in, this, in that point 
that you can do whatever you want. No, I think there is a lot of funny moments. Uh, I definitely think so. And I think when it comes to rallying, it's not always funny what we do. We enjoy it and we are happy, but it's not funny. We are not laughing a lot when we are when we are actually competing. I think it's more the time we have outside the rally car in between the stages and between the rallies also together with our competitors is is some of the nicest time uh, and some of the funniest times and i think that's that's when we enjoy ourselves a lot uh, and uh, to be honest there is some uh, some sunday evenings uh, after some events which uh -huh. has been uh, always good fun we yes. like I to know, have a party i know i know and... what happened on sundays <laughs> when some tequilas cross over you in front of you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there has been some funny moments and i think yeah we have maybe some of the funniest memories is from mexico uh, on the sunday night when I think especially the year when Tanak uh, crashed into the water. Ah, yeah, yeah, and, the Titanak. Uh, on uh -huh, the, uh, the Titanak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And, and the, the after party that year was uh, was quite special. I think everyone was singing and especially Mr. Tanak himself. He had some really nice uh, singing from the scene. It was Titanic, so uh, <laughs> it was... Uh, some uh, some really happy memories and some really fun times. Uh, uh, also with uh, with some uh, other drivers and uh, also with the whole team it's been uh, some very very good and funny moments where we where we laugh a lot uh, martin prokop is a very good friend of you <coughs> yes and he's so funny yeah yeah absolutely i mean i think uh, he he enjoys the time a lot uh, and i think Maybe some of the challenges with, with a lot of the drivers on WRC is that when you are on the event, you are so focused on the competition and mm -hmm. you are so determined on your own things that you don't have time to be funny. Mm -hmm. uh, but some drivers probably do it a bit more for fun, like like Prokop. He, <laughs> he, he, I don't think he tries to be a world champion. He just wants to enjoy himself and he's not so focused as many of the other drivers and, and he has time to, to be funny. And I think that's, that's really enjoyable. It sort of, it breaks the ice a little bit because sometimes everyone can be really focused and it can be quite, uh, quite boring. But yeah. then, uh, then you have people like, uh, like uh, Prokop and, uh, and some other drivers as well, which, uh, which just breaks the ice and, and give us a good time. Do you remember that time when you decide that this big moment changed your life for the rest of your, of your sport uh, life, a sporting life? Yeah, I think, uh, I think obviously there is, uh, there is a lot of reasons why I've become a WRC driver and why I've had such a such a long career but I think maybe the the breaking point was I think personally for me was uh, rally Finland 2007 so that's a long time ago but that's when I realized myself that this is probably something I can I can do and where I can be good but uh, that was me and not everyone else so it took a bit more time before uh, other people noticed or felt the same way and I think that that point was was probably in Sweden 2011 uh, when I had my first podium in WRC uh, with the Stobart uh, team uh, finishing second behind Mikko Hirvonen and uh, that was uh, that was probably that turning point in my career where I was noticed also from from the teams who is your best friend uh, of the competitors right now? Maybe from your category or another category. The, the one that you are waiting for, uh, looking forward to see him the next rally. I've had some, some good friends from, from Nobody WRC. Nobody's going to hear us. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was, uh, I was always very good friends with Mikko Hirvonen. Uh, mm. I haven't seen in him on rallies for a long time. And uh, probably Danny Sordo is is uh, is just a funny guy. I just enjoy to to spend time with him, and uh, we always have some good conversations. And uh, not only professional, but also personally. Uh, so he is uh, he is one of my favorites, no doubt about it. And uh, obviously the Scandinavians always stick together and spend time together. But uh, that's a bit 
that's a bit more natural. I think with with Danne, it's just uh, we just uh, we like each other, and I think that's uh, that's really nice. If you could change something about um, your life r right now in this moment, uh, what do you change? I don't think I want to change anything. I I'm happy where I am. Uh, I obviously would would like to be in a WRC car, but I. It's such a hard game. Uh, there is not a lot of seats in WRC cars, and uh, I enjoy a lot what I do with Citroen uh, over these years. We we have a very good relationship, and we are being very successful in the development of the C3 R5. So I enjoy that a lot. Uh, I I'm happy back home. I have a nice family, and I really enjoy to be a dad as well. So I wouldn't change anything, to be honest. I'm I'm happy with my situation, and I want I always want to improve. And of course, I have the dream of getting back in a WRC car, and I I work really hard, and uh, and I'm really motivated to do that. But uh, I also I'm also able to enjoy what I do at the moment, and I'm I'm glad uh, that I am. Yeah, perfect. But if you can change, if you were not a rally driver. What would maybe, I be? Maybe you could be a teacher, a cooker. Uh, what do you do? Yeah, I I like cooking. Yes, of course. But I think now when I I've had a bit more time back home, I've been able to to do some more building. We we have a we have a house and we have some small houses around here, mm -hmm. and uh, there is a lot to do. Uh, so I've been able to to do some carpenting myself, to ah. building a few things, and uh, I so really enjoy you, that. Do so. you like the handcrafts? Yes, I do like the handcrafts. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if I'm successful, but I enjoy it a lot, and I'm happy with the results. Yes, I'm, of I'm mainly course. the one who looks at it, so that's... <laughs> You That's, know that uh, I am I am a very successful mom because my son yeah. has 20. I am a very successful professional, no? I am a very su yeah. successful polit policy, no? Yeah. But you, do you really want to know what I can die to do that? To be a Zumba teacher? <laughs> <laughs> no? I don't think I want to be a Zumba teacher. No, no, but, but a carpenter could be because yeah. you do you like to... So, um, it's a pleasure for you to make your own table, for example, no? Exactly, Why yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very nice. And a different <laughs> Matt. We are learning something about Matt Sussberg. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. very nice. <laughs> Matt, it was a very, very nice um, experience here with you. Thank you for that. Thank you for sharing your, your, um, your time with all the people here. That people, no problem. That in Latin America, people love you. So that's very nice. That's very nice. Thank you very much for inviting me. And I was actually very happy to to put my Citroen shirt back on. I yeah, I was, I was, since. I was watching it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I, so, I, could you make like this because I can read this? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it actually felt really good because uh, I normally I wear this uh, mm. every second week through the whole year, but now mm. I haven't had it on since uh, since Sweden. So. It felt a bit strange, uh, so I'm, I'm glad I, I found it, and uh, it's nice to wear it. So I'll wear it for the rest of the Ooh. day now. <laughs> I give, tell, tell us something in Spanish. Quédate en casa. Quédate en casa. Quédate en casa. Very good, very ¿Sí? good, very good advice. We have to take care por of favor. each other, por favor. And then, la cuenta, por favor, no, esa no. No, una cerveza, por favor. <risa> uh, Rosy, me agrada este chico. Sí, sí. <risa> Amigo. Amigo. <risa> Mi casa es tu casa. <risa> no, you don't have to say that never, because you no. are going to have lot of people in your house. <risa> yeah, exactly. <risa> <risa> very nice, very nice to have you here, baby. Uh, very glad to see you, because we have long Thank time. Thank you very much. Because I, I couldn't see you in, in Raleigh, Mexico. And um, all my kisses for your baby. So Thank you big. very much. So big. <laughs> yeah, it's more than three now. Yeah, no. And you know what the problem? That more than three is almost that you are a father-in-law. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. Actually, I taught my, my son a few Spanish words. So 
I was able to send a message to to Danes or do uh, from my son. So, yes, in Spanish. Yeah. In Spanish, he said, "Hola, amigo Dane." Ah, my <laughs> sweetie baby. Very yeah. nice. Very yeah, nice. Yes, so that was a nice video. I sent it to Danny, and he was. Uh, he liked it. Yes, of course. Yeah. Everybody yeah. likes it. No, very nice, very nice. And please say hello to your wife because she is so nice. I met her maybe, maybe five, seven years ago. I don't know. Uh, I met her first and I met you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Actually. <laughs> yeah. No? So yeah. please tell her that from Mexico, all of kisses. And be please Thank take you. care. And we are going to keep in touch. And yeah. Whatever you want to tell the people, if you are boring, call us and we are going to send a message and we are going to whatever, okay? Thank you very much. And uh, please stay safe, everyone. Yes. And stay in your home. Let's stay at home. Right? That's very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Thank See you. See you soon. See you soon, hopefully. And uh, Yes. And, um, and well, we are going to continue here and keep in touch. Okay, baby? Good, thank you very much. En el siguiente episodio. Yo intento, intento siempre, pues no sé, dar un poco un toque personal, ¿no? Un poco de creatividad, un toque personal. Gusten o no gusten, pero bueno, oye, para los gustos los colores, ¿no? Habrá gente que le guste, habrá gente que no, pero bueno, yo soy así, ese es mi tipo de hacer lo, las fotos, ¿no? Mi, mi, la manera que tengo de trabajar y bueno. No te lo pierdas. Free Inside Home, de Rally Inside Plus. Internacional.